Hello, Moana Exiles. Grinding Gear Games has not given up on Necropolis League just yet, and lots of people who had problems with T17 maps, well, they are addressing those problems, and they are making a few quality of life improvements to Necropolis League. I'm not going to waste your time. We're going to get right into the patch notes, and if you want to read them yourself, the link will be in the description below. So take a look right here. The servers are restarting in about 12 minutes. We're going to get this patch tonight, which is absolutely awesome. And as someone who's about to do their first T17 map, I am quite excited. We'll lead with the T17 map changes right now. So first of all, many modifiers that can roll on tier 16 maps can now also roll on tier 17 maps. This is a huge win. It's mainly being done because lots of people would get to end game. They'd try to do these T17 maps with the builds that they originally started the league with. And many of the modifiers, if not the majority of them, would brick builds completely and they just couldn't farm or complete many T17 maps, even if they were rollable. Now that we can roll T16 mods on them, this is far more doable. And we actually see down here, T17 maps will always have at least one exclusive T17 prefix and suffix. So that means if you really want to try to, you can make six of the eight modifiers on these T17 maps be T16 mods. So they're not going to be completely build, breaking, and bricking these maps and adding a ton of difficulty to them difficulty to them. But what they will do if you do want to run these super hard modifiers, well, they will make it far more rewarding. And this is the way to do it. You really want to attach the difficulty to rewards grinding your games. This is good. We'll take a look at that not happening in a second and how they're fixing that because, you know, I didn't get to address it, but there was an absolute degenerate farming strategy that was going on that was seeing people earning 10 mirrors a day which is insane and it was completely bricking the economy. Anyways, so now modifiers that can only roll in T17 maps are now rewarding in one of the five following ways. Enhanced pack size, enhanced item rarity, more currency found, more maps found, or more scarabs found. And pay attention to those last three, more, more, more. That's amazing. Attaching the actual awesome rewards in Path of Exile to the hardest content and being able to clear set hardest content is phenomenal. There was a strategy that was ongoing, which allowed people to essentially juice maps up to the extreme. And it was hard, okay, but it was also hard on people's PCs and very expensive. Uh, so much so that the main scarab involved in the strategy was costing upwards of 40 divines, which was more than headhunter. Absolutely insane. And people were yielding 10 mirrors a day from this farming strategy, killing 20 to 25,000 monsters in a single map when the usual is, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 in a super juiced map. It was absolutely insane. And GGG has double tapped that particular farming strategy here. You can see that the tormented spirit modifier that was integral to the farming strategy no longer can roll on T17 maps. And the all flame ember of anarchy now only causes packs to be replaced by a single rogue exile. If you're interested in what the strategy actually was, people, go ahead, check out Grimrose channel, check out Bubgun's channel. They both explain it pretty well, and they went into that farming strategy and made absolute bank while it was busted. I know this is going to create some more FOMO, but, you know, it had to be fixed. It was breaking the economy, and it was not a, the right way to play the game. Again, it was throwing people out of computers. It was breaking servers. There were absolute tons of monsters, tons of loot. It was too ridiculous. I'm glad that they got rid of it. Anyways, back to the W's here with the T17 maps. There's also another buff to the rewards of them. Tier 17 map bosses now have a significantly higher chance to drop Elder Guardian, Shaper Guardian, Conqueror maps, and Synthesis maps. Fantastic. That's great. This is just making T17 maps better overall for everybody. The ability now to really choose to have T16 mods instead of T17 mods is going to enable many more builds to be able to complete these. In addition to these T17 map changes, there are also some Necropolis changes, which are great, which include having us sort the actual Lantern of Aramore modifiers in a better way, sorted by Devoted, then Haunted, and then My Tier. Fantastic. It's going to help see at a glance what is going on when you open a map, because right now it's really a sort of a puzzle every single time you open a map. And who wants to do a puzzle every single time they open a map? Not me. Definitely not me. There's also a whole bunch of changes to crafting and a few quality of life adjustments here. You can go ahead and read through them. They're all W's. I don't think anybody is going to have a problem with them. Additionally, 
in general improvements and changes, there was an actual buff to the drop rate of Veiled Orbs from Katarina. The people on Reddit, streamers, YouTubers who were saying Veiled Orbs are not dropping enough. Well, guess what? Now they are dropping and they are dropping far more often. In fact, at the highest tier, they're dropping 50% higher than the second highest tier, which is now dropping 33% higher than it was before. So Veiled Orbs should be far more present in the economy and help people be able to craft better items more easily without having to use Necropolis. There are also a few other adjustments here, uh, including one that I am super excited about. Significantly reduce the volume of Triggered War Cries, Blood Rage, and Detonate Mines in combat areas with these severely reduced in hideouts absolute win grinding your games thank you for watching my video and hearing my request uh, all jokes aside i'm pretty sure lots of people requested that and i'm glad that they're actually doing this there were a few changes to challenges achievements and there is something here that my uh, tired late at night brain cannot really comprehend control plus right clicking a skill icon for an instant skill when rebinding skills or within the character panel now uses that skill i don't necessarily know what that means is that a bit of a reversion on the instant skill casting i i honestly don't know does that mean you can click on a skill and use it now i i don't know i i i cannot comprehend it right now and people are going to make fun of me in the comments go for it absolutely go for it i had an absolute crazy day there were also some trade website changes essentially some necropolis quality of life plus some t17 map quality of life allowing people to trade t17 maps in bulk now using the peewee trade website there were also a significant number of bug fixes which is excellent to see because it means everyone that grinding your games has not given up on necropolis league i know some people say oh you know they do one patch and then they're absolutely done there's going to be nothing else that's not the case we had a lot of content in this patch a lot of good content good changes i think it's a w overall i know lots of people were saying hey t17 maps they're supposed to be very difficult we're not supposed to be able to clear them on our first characters well in path of exile some people only have time to make a single character from beginning to end and a lot in a lot of cases these mods not the map bosses, not the monster packs, the mods themselves on T17 maps were completely build breaking for many characters in the league. And they did not allow them to clear set maps. Of course, you can reroll with chaos and spend lots of chaos to get the perfect modifiers. But even doing that, people were having problems because there were lots of very difficult mods exclusive to T17s. Simply adding the T7, T16 map modifiers to the t17 pool which used to be exclusive much like valdos is a great move and it's opening up t17 maps to so many more players they will still be challenging they are still going to be rewarding though not as rewarding as the 10 mirror strategy which has been double tapped by grinding your games it's just a win overall everybody and now people who do just go with that one build and really put all their time, effort, energy, and resources into it, will actually be able to play these T17 maps as long as they roll them intelligently and get some T16 map modifiers in there. It's a win in my eyes. I can't wait to try out the T17s, which I am just breaking into. I'm going to try them on you know, how, how long until this patch drops. It's, uh, it's dropping in four minutes. So I'm going to get on. I hope you get on as well. Are you still playing Necropolis League? Do you think these are W changes? If you think so, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Path of Exile content. Anyways, that's all for this one. Talakura Exiles. <laughs>